Hey guys, um, I am scared. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you this is not what I had on the agenda for today. Um, but after I got done my Bible reading this morning, this is what I was led to do. Um, so I'm going to be looking over here because I'm trying to stay on task. Um, but I am supposed to introduce myself for you of the those that don't know what's going on with me. Um, my name is Sheila Womble. I have uh, started in full-time ministry as of the full first of the year, um, and it's called Growing Seeds to Trees Ministry. Um, it's to guide and teach women how to grow and mature in their faith, um, how to walk spiritually, um, how to mature spiritually, what that looks like, how to do it, um, how do we choose to do that. Um, right now, the ministry consists of several different facets. I'm not sure what tomorrow holds, but for today, um, there is an online ministry which consists of um, teaching, inspiration, um, Bible study type thing, um, easy helps, tips, that kind of thing, um, a blog where I post uh, different things that it gives me to help. Um, weekly right now um, so that's on there I have emails um, I do a little bit of Facebook um, try I can't do everything um, not really good at much of it um, we have weekly Bible studies that I lead um, on Tuesday nights and Sunday nights if you're interested in that just contact me and I'll let you know anyone is invited women only though I'm sorry guys um, but uh, we also I'm also being um, taking lots of courses learning trying to learn how to do all this stuff um, to become a personal Christian life coach. Um, it is from a Christian biblical based life coaching. Um, it's, it's really, um, it's not therapy. It's not that you're crazy. It's just um, sometimes we get overwhelmed with life. Life just kind of takes us over and uh, we lose control. We lose focus. We lose um, what the priorities should really be. Um, it's really just helping you get refocused and get priorities back in line and um, live to your full purpose, what God has you here for. And just to help you do that, that's all that is. Um, and then my favorite is just uh, building relationships and getting to love on others and to learn how God has just done amazing things in their world and um, truly get to see that things are never as you think they are. Um, God has done so many things that you are never ever going to know unless you get out there and build relationships with people and it just encourages me each day because I know what he's done in my life and others. Um, am I an expert at this? Um, am I, um, do I have any kind of degree? Am I a preacher, teacher? Um, that I, have, I am not an expert by any means. I'm an ordinary gal um, that I lead a life just like you do. Um, I have issues just like you do. But I have found in the last um, several years that I have really, really gone deeper. And Jesus is in the every moment of every day, every issue, everything in my life. And it has made all the difference. Um, I am not supposed to be able to handle this life myself. That was not how I was made. And since I figured that out, I just really, really want to help others to be able to see that, that there is so much more to an enjoyable life than what we see in the day in and the day out. Um, but when you invite Jesus in, he just does amazing things. So uh, no, I'm not an expert. I just want to help the next person as I learn. That's what it's all about. So I know some of you probably having some questions and you're looking at this like, mm, yeah, okay, girl. Okay. Um, first question is probably aren't there others out there doing the same kind of thing? Yes, there's like thousands trying uh, that are very successful online. Um, so why would I start this ministry? Um, wasn't my choice. It was all a God thing. Um, I'll get to that in a few minutes. Um, did I just want to quit work or do I think I can become famous doing this? No, no. Um, I don't, I, I have no idea where this ministry is going. Um, the one thing that God keeps reminding me of that he told me over a year ago is if, but for one, he said, I came and died for you, Sheila. So 
whatever I call you to do. It may be just for one person. And I have to be okay with that. And um, that's fine. As long as he is, you know, he's going to fulfill the promises. He's going to do what needs to be. I'm just here doing what he asked me to do. Um, am I employed at a church or anywhere? No. Nope. This is all me. Um, and some others that are behind the scenes praying, um, helping do this and helping do whatever I ask. I've, I've got great, great backup. Uh, but for now, I'm just trying to follow the lead, um, his lead. Uh, so the other question you may be, go, okay, so how are you going to pay your bills? Your guess is as good as mine right now. Um, all I know is that he, over a year or more, told me, you're going to have to trust me. Just trust me. Just trust me. Just trust me. Just trust me. Um, it took me a long time to be able to trust him, but I did, um, and I am. It's an every day, every moment thing. Um, and when he does provide, I will be glad to fill you in on how that happened. I'm looking for exciting things because it's going to have to be. Um, so why would I do this? Um, here's where I'm going to try to break the story down very little, um, which is hard for me because I love the details. But for years now, I have been praying that um, he would just take me deeper, that I would just be able to see more of him um, in that every day, that I would get to experience the cool things um, that he's doing all around me that I was too busy to see, um, that he would just leave this life and let me just hang behind instead of having all the stress and worries of trying to do life for him. Uh, so fast forward uh, to a few years, uh, November the 8th, 2015. Okay. I've been praying that for a couple, couple of years then. Um, that day, I remember where I was sitting and I remember how clear it came. But what I heard in my heart was, Sheila, you've told me you're ready to go all in. Are you serious about that? You know, I kind of felt like Peter. Do you love me? Do you love me? I'm like, well, yeah, yeah. So then what I heard immediately after that was, okay, if you're ready, I'm ready. It's going to take you letting go of that one thing you have your hand on so tight that you were never willing to let go. You're going to have to let it go. I knew exactly. The word, two words came to my mind. Security, paycheck. I knew what it was. Instantly, I knew. I am not a risk taker by nature. No way. No way. Um, anybody that knows me knows that. I do nothing rash. I overanalyze every single thing in life. Um, but I told someone that day. That's the only person I told. And she was not telling anybody. That was my daughter. Um, and I didn't tell anyone. Because once I said it, then they would be watching me. You know, what if I did not obey? What if I not trust? So, fast forward to December of 2016. That entire year, I battled with God. Um, it, I call it negotiation. It wasn't negotiation. I was fighting. Um, I was trying to convince him that I could do both. I could, I could still work and get a paycheck and do ministry for him. I had been doing it for years. Um, why not now, God? Why not now? Huh. But I knew. Every single time I come up with a really good plan, he said, no, that's not what I ask. No, that's not what I ask. It's not what I ask. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. That's all I kept hearing. So, after a year of battling um, and trying to figure out how I could do this and then how I could not do this, um, he showed me, oh my goodness, I can't even tell you how many times he showed me 
this is the plan I have for you, the plan I have for now. Are you going or are you not? Do you trust me or do you not? So I finally said, okay. In December, I said, okay, I'm, I'm going to do this. I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know how it's going to happen. You're going to have to make it happen. I'm just following your lead because I don't know what to do. So January 1st, I started um, full-time ministry. Um, I am phasing out at my regular job of 20 years. Um, I will be leaving there probably this month or next month. Um, it was one of the hardest, no, by far the hardest decision I have ever had to make in my life. The hardest. Um, but God was there every inch of the way, giving me more and more and more excitement, encouragement, even in the terrifying, paralyzing fear I had. Um, so I made the move. So let me move on. Um, and peace came when I did that. That has been the, probably the biggest miracle of the whole thing was peace. When I said, okay. I'll do it. Even though I don't have a plan, even though I have no idea of what the future holds, okay. Peace. Surrender brings, oh my goodness, the best peace possible. I'm laying down, going to sleep at night. That's huge. Not worrying. Um, I'm excited to see how it's going to happen. Um, so for right now, do I know the details? No. I have no idea what's going to happen today, tomorrow. Um, like I said, this was not my plan today. Um, but I have no idea. I, you know, I may do this little stuff that nobody notices really um, for a long time. I don't know. But you know what? He's going to use it. I may never know who it's for. Um, I know all of you watching, all of you that know me, even my, some of my close friends and family, they don't get this. They don't understand. They don't like my writing or they don't like what I do and I that's fine that's fine I, I'm learning to be okay with that not everyone has to like me um, I, I don't get everybody either so if you don't get it if you don't care for my stuff that's fine that's fine I, I'm, I'm not gonna take it personally um, try not to anyway um, but I'll keep you informed as God continues to reveal the plan and continues to show me what he has for me and continues to um, bring it about and provide and, and the awesome crazy things that he does in the middle. I will try my best to keep you updated on that. Um, if you want to be a part, how can you be a part? Uh, number one, please, please, please pray. Just pray. Prayer is about miracles. Prayer changes me. Prayer changes you. Prayer changes others. Um, doesn't change God. He, it just allows us to see him better. Um, I ask you to just please keep me in your prayers. Even if you don't like my stuff, even if you don't get me, um, just pray for me. Because there is somebody out there that is supposed to hear what I have to say or he wouldn't have me do it. Um, number two, share, share my stuff. Um, check out my website. Um, there may be something on there that you um, like, you know, that speaks to you. Um, share my, this this video. Um, it may not be for you, but it may be for one of your 500, 800,000 friends. They may need to know that Jesus is for them too. Jesus is in the everyday. Um, they may not know all that you know. They may be looking to know what you know. Um, I'm just there to try to share him with others and how to know him better um so share anything that you that you will just share it so that maybe it'll get into the hands of the ones that need to hear it number three you can partner um there's always you know little things um that i need done i am horrible with all this technical stuff um if you have technical abilities and you want to partner please hook me up um i will be glad to take your help um there's other things i have um, a, a ready retreat going on um i i have enlisted several of my backers to help me there um just good friends that that know my heart and what i'm trying to do 
um, I'm, I'm great, greatly blessed to be surrounded by so many people that want to do his work also. Um, so just, you can partner, you can donate, you can um, help spread the word, um, take flyers, give them out, um, get buy tickets to the Ready Retreat. Let me show you the flyer for that right here. We are having a retreat. Okay. I'm learning how to do this video. Okay. A Ready Retreat Day. Uh, it will be hosted at Pine Level Church um, May 20th. I need all the tickets, registrations in. Uh, I think the 12th, I can't even read my thing, because um, we're having a catered lunch, so I need to be able to know that I have food for you. Um, we have tickets available. If money's an issue, let me know. We can probably work something out there. It's going to be a fun, relaxing day for uh, women of all ages to come, be encouraged, be loved on, um, and to see that God has done amazing things in the ladies around you. There's going to be some spectacular testimonies given, um, some crafting, yay, easy crafts, Becky, don't worry. Um, just, just a fun day to connect with other women who love Jesus too and really want to grow deeper and to become more focused in their everyday life um, and be on purpose with him in the everyday life. Um, also, I want to show this before I go. Let me see if I can get it on here. Okay, here we go. This is how you connect with my website. Because a lot of people in my church don't even know. They're like, oh, I didn't know you had a blog. I didn't know you had a website. So it's really hard, unless you're a technical guru, to get all that stuff out there. Let me tell you, I have no idea how to do it. So I'm going to need your help in spreading the word. So this is it's just my name. That's all you got to do. Google my name, www.com myname.com and it will take you to my website that I hope is easy, easy, easy peasy for you to find what it is that you're looking for and it will take you to the local things, it will take you to all kinds of things. So if you will, share, 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 um, tell them to skip to the end and just get to this part if they will, but please just help me share, get the word out and I just want to end with this, here it is, it's not about me, it's about him. Um, thank you all. Thank you. This was not what I want to do. It feels a whole lot like self-promotion, and I hate that icky, salesy stuff. You never have liked it, but I'm praying for confidence, and this is what he told me to do, and maybe it'll help me. All right. Love you all, and I just pray that you have an awesome Friday, awesome weekend, and let Jesus shine through. Thank you. Love you all.